in Baltimore. Still working on establishing a new culture for the Greyhounds out of the Patriot League. And fitting it going. Howard. Nothing but net. Ofer. Howard, he's feeling it. And field goals. Howard into the lane that time. And the flip. percentage. Those two things don't help. The chance is there. Greg Elliott is on the floor for the first time for Marquette as Howard keeps on making it. And another miss, that time on the layup attempt by Cam Spencer, the true freshman. Loyola is 0 for 11 in the corner. Over champion. Hardy last year in his first season. They went from the 218th ranked offense in all of Division I basketball to the eight. Point wise, when Marcus Howard is out of the game or in foul trouble or when he's not on fire. Not on my watch. Howard tracks it down. A paint touch, but a rejection. And a record. Bodyguard. <laughs> Definitely physically fit. Howard around Jones. What a finish. Well, Gets us out of Milwaukee in late November. I have about 37 today. A little different here in Orlando. Builders, but everybody likes trophies. One of these teams in the Bahamas is going to go away with a trophy. As Met Curry since then has gone to his camp out west, back to back years for private drills. Oh, go make a play. Final seconds. Howard contested. Again, it, it, it speaks to the defensive pressure that he's receiving by Marquette. Howard off the curl. That's Some handoffs leading the ball screens. Allows him to get downhill, and I like that action. Off the Grady with 20 points. Howard. Oh, from the fast. Howard time. Deep three. Around and get dribble. Give it back to him. McEwen gives it up himself. Howard, the sidestep, and... It's going to be a screen for the screener, and they bring the big up to try to give him an angle. Howard, yeah. the double clutch. He... Marcus Howard with 33 points. Pulling up. Oh! The layup. Anderson did not score yesterday in the quarterfinals in 16 minutes of work. Howard from the elbow. In attack mode. Point guard, two, doesn't really matter. He's a baller. Howard off the curl. That's a... And again, it's a warning for that first flop. The second one would result in a technical foul, which we saw. Yep, right at that one. Howard, definitely a sharpshooter. Up an uncontested dunk. If you can't hit the ball, you've got to make him score through you. Howard wants another. Get and as a result, again, has not put his imprint on this game. And he is such a valuable piece. So some guys are going to have to fill these roles and fill them quickly. Oh, this is from deep. Oh! McEwen takes it. Too much space. Howard, catch and shoot! Yes, sir! Great court vision. Howard got Rakosevich off his feet. Better focus. Howard defended. By USC's best perimeter defender, Jonah Matthew. Mishandled it a little bit and ended up taking a tough shot with an opportunity to get this thing down to 12. And now guess who's got it? He's going to make that. Oh, landed that. The scoring in the studio in Bristol would have been <laughs> off the chart. What would Seth give him? Oh, give him. Front so of Marcus so you're for two, Ted. What's your third wish? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, that's my three ESPN 100 prospects in the recent recruiting class, along with Okongu and Mobley. There is Howard to the right. Jamal Kane, number 23. Greg Elliott, number 5, who's not on the floor right now. Has had good season for Marquette. McEwen in trouble. Outlets to Kane. Howard gets it going. No go. Scoreboard in the arena has got 7 points at half. So I think they scored it as a three. Howard hit you with spurts so quickly. Based on this young man right here. Look out. Marcus Howard. Torrance with the whips. Got too far away from him. But Marquette hangs on. And Marcus Howard automatic. Brandon's going to pull it back and reset for Marquette. I like Annam, though, trying to probe and find an opening. 
And Mark, Summit League in general, we were talking, Jeff, last three years have led the nation for conferences in terms of three-point shooting percentage. This has been very solid so far. And a much improved unit as Howard drives and he gets Elliott. Howard around the screen. And Howard this at this chunk of the season, right? right? Yes. Sakar Anum has the heat on him right now. Ooh, and not a lot of misses in this second half. And at 19 for Tyson Ward. Back to a three-point game. Howard slips through. Layup is good. Cruiser from beyond the arc. Howard now feeling it. Takes it away. Boy, Kaya Lude is coming out very aggressive. I was kind of surprised at both of those looks. Marcus Howard being 6'7". That's going to be interesting to see how Marquette adjusts to that. And no surprise that we had to wait basically a minute for Marcus Howard. Tar Hannum at the last moment came to block the shot. Really bothered the release. Three, three for the defense, and you will have opportunities later in the shot clock like this. Howard. And right now, Central Arkansas having a hard time figuring out what that is. It's Howard. Nifty move. Oh, wow. On the fast break for Marquette to a goose egg for Central Arkansas. Oh, and for the Bears in terms of developing habits of continuing to play hard. Howard, tough angle, and he banks the horn. But see, what happens is human nature takes over. When you get a technical foul like that, Hot found his three-point stroke this season, shooting under 20% coming in. Meanwhile, 2016 and, of course, 2018. Deservedly so. Howard gets by Bay, goes to the rack, score it, and we will impose their will in this matchup. That is going to be a key. Marquette, can they go small? Villanova forces you to play Howard inside. They were looking for Gillespie. The pass was a little short. Third turnover for Villanova. Howard, pull up. Moore can't hit the three. On the move comes Marquette. Howard, long three. Guys can post up, can handle the ball, can shoot. Howard gets by Samuels. Little floaters and another turnover for Villanova in their first possession of the half. Howard pulls a three. More movement to manufacture some jumpers. Marquette has not gotten to the line in the second half. And it is Howard. Where the teams are at? Providence with some head scratching losses here this year as Howard has got in report. So, what is different right now tonight in the job that Providence is doing? Okay, is he also got three guys that can all play the position, so it's not all bad to use it. Mark is space area, and you've got to come in when that defense is running out your ball. Wow. Okay, that's just a freshman. How about that? He can score here at some point. Well, he's got a chance. Howard, going for the record. Passing up the shot, looking for Johnson instead from the corner. And right now he's got the defensive assignment here on Marcus Howard. Viewed as one of the better oh. defenders. Howard just oh. the test runs. The uh, Big East. Here's Howard from the other side. Look out. Do correctly, our ops guy for Marquette gave me some stats, and, and he is better at the NBA round. 28 coming in. <laughs> so to speak, where they get in that NBA post. Here's Howard for the lead. He's playing with four personals. Howard <laughs> hesitation. <laughs> the first of any game defense in the game, more transition. Hannum <laughs> kicks Howard. Got it. High hopes for him. Howard splits the double. Kick to the corner, McEwen. Back to Howard. Shot fake. And the three. That's unbelievable. Almost a walk. With Jamal Keane, who's in for Marquette. Watch the change of direction here. I mean, this guy is impossible to guard. It's a video game. Can shoot the three. Green light for lots of guys. Annam and Bailey have hit big threes already. Howard, hand in his face. It does. 
Howard, 15 in the game. He follows his own pass, right? Gives it up, gets it right back. Deep three. Got it! McKnight is guarding Howard here. Howard drives, rises, and hits. Bailey, Annam, Howard! Yes! Frightened because of some defensive lapses. <laughs> Howard rises and buries it. What's going? A lot of contact. GT Tandy, he and Freeman are both freshmen. Tandy put up the shot, missed it in and on use. Howard, baseline drive, floats. Boy, he's so good at that. Geez. Well, that's just not their game. But Travis Steele wanted him to get to the line more. They've done that. Now we're getting... Marshall is 6'7", trying to guard him in this possession here. Let's see how he does. High arcing three. Give him mission right now with foul trouble and only down five. And Marshall's been a big help, as he always is. He has 11. Howard, he's got 13, never mind, from the floor. And so just because the game is going to the three-point shot doesn't mean that he needs to be shooting. That's a guy that... Scruggs has got to be careful here. Stop and pop, Howard. Pretty. That's the fourth air ball that Marshall has shot tonight. Howard lost his feet, doesn't make into a danger zone, and that's not going to help. Marshall slow to get up on the other end is him now. Yeah, sophomore, but a 22-year-old sophomore because he served a two-year Mormon mission. Howard. My goodness. With his offensive prowess. And those eight boards in just 18 minutes against Xavier. Offensively, Marquette runs Howard off a ton of cross screens. Step back position defense coming into today's game. They have to get back and get bodies in the paint. And Howard. And now McEwen went right through the defense. Wide open look for Howard. 7-0 run for the Hoyas. There's Howard. That's a good luck, but he can stretch the defense and make you pay. Now Howard with Yurtz. Quick timeout by Steve Ojahowski to square up his defense. Howard leans in, makes a... Howard going around the screens, and he finished by your seven to get it back to Mosley for the corner three. Howard team stepping up when they need him most. Howard drives underneath. 11 combined between the two teams. Howard around the screen. Howard floater. 20 minutes to go. Starting to see Georgetown win a few of those battles. Here's Howard from the free throw line. Stepped in. Having to shoot. Howard. Wow! On the offensive when end. When they're controlling tempo, when you have the ball in the hands of Howard, you can do that. And Howard off sitting on 38 points. Let his man go by. 41 from the 0 for 2, both from three-point land. Howard will try. And he is so difficult against St. John's. Marquette able to break it. Can they cash in on the other end? Chase is wide open. Howard at Utah State. If I'm St. John's, I think we've got to get the we've got to get Mustafa Harris some shots. There's Howard, the floater in the 40 minutes to hell. No one Richardson, obviously. Played for no one Richards. Paul Pressey's on his staff. These guys understand the energy, the success it can have. Howard driving into traffic. Got bumped, no call. Another opportunity. Howard with the three. Team. So you're looking at eight players, two of whom are on the bench with you all night. 14 for Mustafa Heron. McEwen backs it out now to Howard. Off the ball fake. He'll step in for two. And he has thing that goes with it. It's a matchup zone, so you're running with the cutter, but you're switching guys off. But what's hard to handle is when Marcus Howard gets loose on the screen and roll in the middle. Two is good all. And again, the shot clock winding down on under five. Howard lets it fly. Got it. Do everything. Chase Marcus Howard. Score. Howard shakes free a little after that last sequence under the basket. And he's still hobbling around. Reached down and grabbed for his right knee. As Howard uses the...
makes himself useful with a hard basket cut and flush. And Butler gets a lot of offense on the baseline. And they've done so again tonight. This a little shake and bake. The right-hander is rejected by Theo John. His fourth block, and at the other end, it's Howard converted. Him and Badley. Almost looked like Badley was surprised to get it yeah. from McDermott. Who are you throwing it to me for? Howard rises. <clears throat> Butler's gotten some second half, second chance points on the board here in the second half, and that's been helpful in keeping this one close. As Mark Ford's, he, he he's really impressive with his length, and I learned so much from him. And I think that's how dynamic and interesting he was, and and that's the impact he could have on, and that's where he does his damage. But nice pass, finding the assist. Howard with the step back. Yes, here's Marcus Howard. Something Coach Wojciechowski wanted was Markfield. Howard steps back. He's right in the game. 24 points, 8 rebounds. And he's having a great show today. Feeds have come at the free throw line. How to keep it going. Jay Wright has really done a terrific job of building it, putting a good foundation together and keeping it going. Marcus Howard, the drive, count it! Well, Howard's got to try to figure out a way to get an open shot here. He's just not been able to get many of them. Marquette with five turnovers in their last nine possessions. That's a fatal win. Yeah, good genes, rest of her own forces father. Here's Marcus Howard, drives all the way and lays in the middle, but this is kind of a two, two or two almost. Good spot to get it to there, the middle of the floor. Howard, three, count it pretty at one point. Howard, off balance, three. Howard, pushing. You know he's going to look to get one up. Oh, you can bet on it. Oh, might be. And the bucket. And you know this building is going to erupt when Marcus Howard knocks the shot down. He's going to have a chance right here. Got some contacts, but those shots have to fall. Howard. Over the hand. Or five of 20. Good effort. But Allen saved it. And then. Freshman who immigrated five years ago from Nigeria. Chose Georgetown over Pitt, Virginia Tech, UConn. He had some options. And again, turnovers played him at Providence. Here is Howard. He gets popped. Boy, count it. But instantly a quick turnover. And, and it, listen, I, I know uh, you shouldn't speculate. This, the hypervolt. That's it. iPhones, sliced bread, and the hypervolt. <laughs> wow, look at Howard. Split the defenders. Good kick out. That was to catch that. Maybe a shot fake. Freeze the defender in the corner as well as his. Now you allow Pickett to have a more open shot. Speaking of and running. Gotta be in shape. They need to get some stops here with that press. But if you break the press, and you leave them in the fire, see what they're made of. And he was instrumental in that win of Butler that you saw in the chest yeah. earlier. Howard, wild, but wild sent to 5'9, 5'10, taking absorbing contact. And then that would go through those skids this season. It's, it's how you recover and you fight your way out of it is. <laughs> every week it's just so fun especially for the fans you know they speculate yeah it shifts a lot but it's fun study not just in the classroom but uh, in those meetings with the coaches you gotta know who you're playing against <laughs> Howard a blow by reversal hello early Kevin Willard at times, when he goes up against quicker, smaller teams, skating defensively and running guys off that three-point line. Now Powell comes to help McKnight. How about that? Marcus Howard. As soon as Powell caught the ball at the three-point line, you got to step in, give up your body. Howard pulls up. McKnight and your nature that the, the scouts start to start to look at. Nice ball fake by Howard. County now. Catapults to 21. How many minutes you give a guy that early and how many you take away from someone else who's kind of earned it. And you wonder something about the emotions too, Donnie. It is senior. <laughs> Here's the high pitch from Jensen. Howard. 
Always have a puncher's chance with this kid on the floor. Buckets, baby. When they match Marcus Howard's points in the game off the bench, they have a higher chance of winning. Oh, there's Howard. This team has talent. Do not look at their record, especially when you're trying to continue to establish yourself for the NCAA tournament. Howard shot. Howard slices his way through, and that pass deflected. Golden Eagles save it. Howard steps back. A heave. Yes. Senior day. To pick up a couple W's before the Big East tournament. Adam defended by Moore. Howard, a three. He's got it. And it's at the wrong time right now, the game. There's Howard. The floater. Oh, stepping up. Howard off the high pick from McEwen. Rises from three. See, Dunn is just overplaying Howard. Howard runs him off screen. And he knocks. Oh. Here's Howard. The step back three. Yes! Stealing momentum. St. John's is swarming. Howard in the lane. The runner. Yes. Misses the five footer. Back the other way. Howard. Count it. 18-point lead. Howard pulled from deep yeah. by Elliott. Howard open for three. It's more like it. Yes. Still with four straight losses. Coming into this game, five of six. It's oh. Howard.